Hello again, it's me. I know I uploaded a video about five minutes ago, but it's actually in reality been about nine, 10 hours, give or take. So, like I said in the group, I was trying to figure out what I was gonna shave my head with. That was a tie. So I figured I have too many samples, so I'll go ahead and use a sample tonight. sample is going to be uh, the uh, first barbershop sent by Murphy McNeil. I've got it whipped up. Smells amazing. I would agree. It's a medium scent. Strength but it's still amazing and I love it. And I'm gonna have to get some one day. <sighs> love it. It's the first one, not the one with the barber poles on it, but the other one. Barber pole handle, Christmas present, beautiful brush. That's the brush. Annual bowl, amazing bowl, and amazing razor. First time on camera with this razor. It's this uh, PAA Starling single edge with third use persona stainless blade with the open comb plate. Finishing up, this is a sample with Sundown by PA. I find it to match for me. And to get the ball rolling, we're using the one uh, DNG. The one for men. Get you a Scentbird subscription if you don't have one. Alright, I love this. This is my favorite scent. Favorite, 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 favorite cologne scent. I've just discovered it about mm, six months ago, maybe. So, artisans, if you're watching this, please make a dupe and make it strong because it's a strong, bold, loud, beautiful, intoxicating scent. But this is about Murphy and McNeil. I think this is the Kodiak base. I can't prove that because I do not know. Nor can I ask who I got it from, so. And honestly, why am I wet in my face? Oh, cut that out, cut, cut it. You know we don't cut it around here. There is no cut it, it's raw. One take, you fuck up. I don't give a shit. Good news, come home to a package. Uh, if you watched the video, my first video today, which you probably had about 15 minutes to watch it. But by the time this one comes out, I'm sure you've watched it. Um, here she is in all of her glory. I like it, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Embroidered NC wet heads. It's the cover photo by Monica from Bangu Lay. I got the black because I love black towels. Somewhere between a three by four print. And a close up of that. You can have it right there. Uh, 
two stripes on the bottom. It's double that length, so yeah, it'll be up over there somewhere in all of the rest of my videos. So that's what it looks like. I'm not gonna be showing it close up again. So if you want you one, get you one. It's any color you want. 20 bucks shipped. I'm gonna have to get an order up of 10. So don't even send me your money until I tell you it's okay that we've got 10 and we're ready to go. Because if I take your money early, you're gonna be waiting on the people. I might do an order of five. Just depends who all wants one. I mean, sick, sick, sick towel. I won't be using it. Um, I'm just gonna have it for decoration decor if you will something to look at besides my shower curtain and uh, something to remind me of something awesome I've created which is the NC Whitehead's Facebook group And the amazing people that have made that possible. That I didn't do it by myself. Well, I did it by myself, but I'm not continuing it by myself. I'd be talking to myself every day. And that would just be kind of weird, to say the least. And, uh, look at that lather. This is a sample, if I didn't mention it before, um, when I posted what a dome shave with the uh, Barrister and Man Diamond photo, I wasn't kidding. This razor is fucking, it's the goat for me. I haven't tried it on my face, but it's the dome goat for me. And I'm proud to have one. Thank you, Douglas. <laughs> you smart boy, you. You sneaky, sneaky uh, engineer, you. It's really a piece of art, in all seriousness. I know it's not gonna work for everybody, but it works for me, and I think it would work for the masses. If you enjoy single-edge razors, I would highly recommend you check it out. I'm not paid to say that, I'm just that stoked on it, really. Super stoked, guys, super stoked for you West Coast people. Hang ten, dude. <laughs> Bro. out the mirror, make sure I don't cut the back of my head off, hair off, alright, that looks great to me, not all it looks like to you, first pass, heat it up, while we're heating up, my 
Sometimes we'll heat up the belly. Cheers to the group. To many more years. Channel, many more years. Still not hot. Hmm. How about them apples? Terrible, terrible day at work today. Absolutely horrible. Won't get into that, but we'll just leave it at that. Amazing grip on the handle, bomb-esque type. Uh, let's see, uh, how do I say this? Ball end-esque bomb tip type. <laughs> yeah, that's a word now. Let me get this down here a little bit. Can't fuck up my lines. Like this razor on the dome, especially n not only because it's a fucking immaculate shaver, but it's got those straight lines I can even up this with. So there's straight edges on it. Next. Trying to make sure I'm in the shot here. few hairs. Eh, it'll be alright. All fills. I'll shave all the shit off. I don't want her to buy. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Each I am wakes a fuck to me, I don't give a fuck. Shit. I shave every hair on my body, I don't care. Shit. With this motherfucker right here. Wouldn't that be a video for you? I use a whole damn tub of fucking soap and shave every hair on my damn body and upload it to YouTube. 
<laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be. Come oh, on, get a fucking strike. There's hairs coming off in the same blood of the gentleman. I'm not shaving a cue ball. I'm going to go to Bobby. Whoa. Forgot about the camera there. Oh, that helps me a lot, Bobby. Boy, what in the hell did I tell you about my propane? Son of a bitch. You little fat bastard, get back here with my propane hose. My dad used it for Kaisen. You're what? soap here guys oh no hair thank god all right second half of life time shown 17 18 minutes in doing curve shaping my hair and i don't care <laughs> You know where the skip button is, fuckers. Hey, we all are on there and watching this part, fuck. Talking to my damn self. I'm gonna quit making these videos. Fuck, I can talk to myself in the fucking mirror. I ain't gotta waste my battery life and my memory and my fucking time uploading this shit to YouTube. Fuck. I can do a lot of stuff in the mirror. Fucking air load. Fucking ears. Always in my damn way. <sighs> I prefer a stronger scent, but I buy it. Would it be a fair use? No. Why? That's to me. It comes down to that scent strength, man. This would be so much better cranked up, in my opinion. It just would It'd be so much better cranked up. To at least an eight. I'm getting a six, and that's being generous. All right, pass number two with out the grain. I meant with the grain. With the grain.
I meant to say without the grain. Yeah, you can tell she's getting a little dull now. But that first and second shave, boy, I tell you what. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, she's getting a little dull. That ain't the razor's fault, that's the blade. Which that's very common with these uh, scraper type blades. But I'll still get a DFS off it if I play my cards right. So I got four packs, so I'm good for a little bit. I do like these blades a lot. Just wish they last a fucking little longer. Be super happy if I could get three, three gray shaves. and second use of this blade that would have done been long gone so I cut a lot of hair off car boy son of a bitch <laughs> Funny. That is too funny. This soap. Scent. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Strength, in my opinion. It's not shit. It is there, it's prominent. My favorite strength, hell no. You gotta 
try to smell it. I don't like that. There's three scents in my opinion. The great ones, the strong ones, the good ones. That's the same one. Then there's the ones you gotta try to smell. And then there's the ones that don't smell at all. Unless you go to... I hate those. And again, it's a head shave, so I can't really judge the scent too much until I have a face shave with it, so, which I have enough for maybe one more shave. The dude that gave me this shit's very fucking, like, acts like there's a soap shortage or some shit. It gives you a little bitty fucking eyelash container, eye, uh, eye powder container. Barely enough for two shaves. I mean, I probably could have got a better shave if I'd have used it all, but not generous like me and Jim Co. and DK. Damn sure. Hell no. Me and me and Jim Co. are fucking like, we'll give you a fucking ounce and be like, fuck it. DK, he's coming around. This dude, not gonna mention his name because it's not fucking worth it. A douchebag, anyway. He gives you a little fucking, like a sample of fucking ecstasy size. Some shit, sample of coke. Here, man, you snort that. Here's my number. I'm damn alright, boy. What's my damn, what's his number? I mean, huh. if you're gonna give somebody some fucking samples, fucking give them some goddamn soap. For example, Canadian. This guy from Canada, PAA, Atomic Age, Bayron. That's a fucking sample right there. Me and Jim Coe give about three quarters that. This dude knows what a fucking sample is. He's even got me and Jim Co. beat. Thanks, dude. You're awesome. I mean, fuck, man. Don't be a fucking greedy bitch with your soap. We're all degenerates. If you're watching these videos, you're fucking degenerate. Or you just, uh, got a fucked up. Uh, algorithm. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, yeah. Don't be a soap snob. Give me some fucking soap. I'll give you some soap. We can have a soapy good time. No hold of my man. Fuck. Get four, five, six ounces of this shit. What are you such a fucking bitch about it for? Ooh, we'll give you one, little bitty. I mean, look at this thing, man. Fuck. Look at that. The head of my dick's bigger than that. Okay? Fucking hell. Either way. And I didn't get these for free. I traded, so. Don't say in the comments, well, you're lucky to get that. Because I traded him. <laughs> Alright. Way bigger samples than that. So. Yeah, my. Trying to look like Popeye's Sailor Man. 
Popeye Sailor Man. Do him in a garbage can. Turn on the heater. Burnt off his Peter. Popeye Sailor Man. Doo -doo. Either way, ladies and gents. This is running up. And I don't give a fuck. This is my fucking hair. Not yours, mine. Popeye the Sailor Man. He ate the garbage can full of spinach. We turned on the heater, burnt off his cock. Then he turned to a cop. This gent posted on one of my earlier videos. Feeling no pain in this segment, I see. Damn right, bro. Try not to feel any any time. What's up? But so far, no weeper, no creeper, no peeper. So, Hoping to give away a better headshot video. Now I want to use these motherfuckers on past usage three because they suck. And it ruined the whole showcasing of the fucking razor for me. But anyway, there's your barbershop. Smell it, inhale it. Going down the drainy. Ugh. Bye-bye. The back, no good. The front, eh. Nowhere near the shave I had yesterday and today. Sorry guys, I tried. Well, at least I know when those blades are dead now. Guess what? I'll fucking shave tomorrow, can I? Yeah. So, win win for me. So, all I got on is a fuck ton of products to use. Which is a great thing, I'm not complaining about it. But fucking hell, I would have liked a BBS. You don't always get the BBS, mate. You've got to fucking pray for the BBS. Alright? I wasn't familiar with those blades. The longevity of them, anyway. So, let's get to the aftershave. Will I buy that soap? Probably not. Why? That's a medium strength. I like high strength soaps. Ah. Uh. If you don't have sundown, what are you doing with your life? Shit's gonna burn my fucking skull off. That's fine. Yeah, right there. I was trying to get BBS. That motherfucking blade was just too dull. 
because of this tough fucking mane I have. What is that? What is that? Douglas. What is that? <sighs> Sundown reminds me of Barbershop. I don't know why, but it does. Douglas could probably tell me why. Because he's a mad scientist. I enjoy his splashes better than his soaps. Soaps are great. Don't get me wrong, but it splashes. That's where it's at for me. And these little, awesome. Dropped a bottle of cologne one time about cried because I had one fucking spray out of it. Don't remember what it was. Wasn't even that expensive. It was just the fact that I dropped the motherfucker on vacation on tile. <laughs> gone. Fucking gone. There was nothing I could do. And these little ridges on the side, Douglas, never take these off if you see this video. Please never take these off. It's the best grip ever. I mean, you would have to be mental, retarded to drop this. And that's a good thing because you don't want to drop that sauce. That's the razor, that's the blade, that's the dull blade, third use. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry to myself. And uh, that's the Starling NC. First showing of it. You'll see much more of it in the future. And uh, we went 24 millimeter, I believe. Barber pole handle. Don't know what that says. Don't really care. It's a barber pole handle. Barbershop soap, barber pole handle. <laughs> That's what we did there. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe for more. And to all my people that have been with me from day one, stay sharp.